we got a surprise for you. Now, it says here that the ACM Entertainment Channel will be doing a cooking challenge with our chef Grant, but I've decided to spice things up a little. Oh, yes, yes. You see, we don't just have one chef in the doubt cook manner. Oh, no, we have two. Can you bloody well believe it? My goodness, I hear you say. Yes, yes, yes. So, I've decided to put them both to the challenge. You see, I snuck out this morning on me mobility scooter. I got me mask, I got me mask and me sanitizer. Oh yes, <laughs> you can't go anywhere without them these days. Anyway, I decided I was going to swap the groceries for something that everybody will be able to get hold of at home. After all, it's rather difficult times, you know. <laughs> anyway, let's begin the challenge. Now, where did I put me cup of tea? Donna! <laughs> Donna! Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the premiere of Mrs. Dowd Cook's Cook-Off Challenge, where we will be putting our two in-house chefs to the test. I wonder who's going to win this one. Now, let's get down to business. As we mentioned earlier, Mrs. Dowd Cook went out this morning and got a handful of ingredients, five to be exact, which everybody should be able to get their hands on during lockdown. Come with me, let's go and see what she has for our chefs. Good evening, chefs. Chef Grant, ah, Chef Wesley. Good evening. Are the two of you ready for your challenge? Yeah, we are. Ready. I am. Very much ready. Right, guys. As mentioned previously, Mrs. Doubtcook went out this morning and collected five ingredients that anybody should be able to get their hands on. Please note, everyone, that any one of these ingredients could be swapped out for any one of your choice. If you prefer a different type of a certain ingredient, you're welcome to use that as well. Right, guys, let's get down to this. Let's have a look at the ingredients we have selected for you today. We have a block of cheddar cheese. There is a slight difference between the two, only the color. They are exactly the same cheese, just a different color. So we have a block of cheese. We have a tub of fresh cream. We have six fresh eggs. A punnet of button mushrooms. And the one might, that might throw you guys a little, I personally have never eaten this bread, so we'll have to see what they come up with here. You each have a loaf of German Landbrot. Okay. Okay, interesting. Don't think okay, that so that might throw you guys a little bit. So these are the ingredients that you each have to work with this evening. Wesley, I'm going to put that down there for you. Right. Okay. Chef Grant, your box of ingredients. Right, guys, with that said, I think we only have one thing left to say, and that would be bangers and mash. It's time to dash, guys. Let's start the countdown. Okay. Do not start until the buzzer pings. Right. And off you go, guys. Do each of you have an idea of what you would like to make for us this evening? Chef Grant? Yeah, thinking about this, I'm going to mushrooms on toast, or cheesy mushrooms on toast with a poached egg, maybe some crumb mushrooms, salsa verde, and decisive about that right now. Bear in mind you only have 20 minutes to prepare your starter. Chef Wesley, any ideas on what you will be preparing for us this evening? Uh, well, I don't have a specific name. For Let me get this out of the way for you. Um, sort of like a, an open sandwich with cream eggs and mushrooms on it, so... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, well, guys, I'm going to let you get a bit of a start on those, and I will check in with you guys again shortly. Bearing in mind, guys, these two only found out their ingredients five minutes ago. Mrs. Doubtcook did a good job here, I think. As I mentioned, you could substitute your eggs, your mushrooms, your cream or cheese for any one of your preference, any particular brand, or if you want to get fancy quail eggs, anything of that type, uh, if you can afford it during lockdown, that is, or find it. Ooh. <laughs> Onions are strong. No crying in the kitchen, please, Chef Grant. No crying <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> no 
no skin on this. Now, guys, please also bear in mind that these may be two chefs that we have in house. One has all the practical experience but no paperwork. The other has the certificates to back him but no practical experience. So this is going to be a very interesting challenge and we're going to have to see how this turns out. And we're very excited to uh, bring in our guest judge a bit later to do the taste test. What are you starting on with there, Chef Wesley? Well, I'm getting some water um, on the boil, and then I'm going to boil a couple of eggs. And then while that's boiling, I'm going to prepare my mushrooms for sautéing. So, yeah, just wait for the water to boil. Chef Grant, what are you starting with over on your side? Okay, I'm starting with my mushroom ragu first, and then I'm going to get onto my toasting my bread, garlic bread. Do you guys have all your equipment on and heating up and ready to go? Indeed. We wouldn't want anyone getting stuck halfway through. And guys, not to forget, we cannot forget Mrs. Dowd Cook's famous sanitizer. Do not forget to clean your hands throughout the process. I'm going to put this over here on the edge of the counter for you. Now, guys at home, whether you're wanting to run to the kitchen and grab the ingredients and cook along with these guys, get some motivation, some ideas from them, please feel free to do so. We would love to see what you come up with using these same ingredients. Please comment on our post on the live stream with what you have made using the same ingredients. Post a photo. And who do you think is going to win? We would love to see who you think is going to win this challenge. For me at this stage, it's anyone's game. Working messy, you man. Remember, guys, work tidy. It will make it easier for you in the long run. Chef Wesley, do you have any tips when boiling eggs? Um, well, if you want the shell to come off easier, you can add some bicarbonate of soda to the water as it boils. I know that's a good trick for getting the shell to come off easier. Um, yeah, I think that's... Interesting. So if you're boiling eggs and you want your shell to peel off easier, add bicarbonate of soda to the water. How much would you say you need to add? Um. Our apologies, guys. We experienced a slight technical glitch there. Our computer decided to reboot itself midstream. So we have frozen all cooking, and we will be resuming as soon as we have picture. Guys, just so that you are aware, we will be setting a new timer, and we will be picking up where the time left off on the previous video. We need to share it again. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back. We apologize for that. As I said previously, we had a bit of a technical glitch. Our computer decided to throw us a curveball. But we are back. We froze the time. We froze our chefs. And now we are about to give them the go-ahead to continue. Are you guys ready to pick up where you left off? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Bangers and mash, continue to dash. Right. Guys, just so that you are aware, you will no longer see the clock in the bottom right hand of the, the screen. But we have reset the timer. We do have one running on a cell phone here. We've had to resort to a little bit of different measures to get this thing going. But we will let you know when we reach the halfway mark, which should be in the next five, seven minutes. <laughs> Oh, oh my 
my goodness! Oh, don't you can't sneak up on an old girl like that. You caught me, didn't you? I also bought myself a Woolies microwave meal. Marks and sparks for those of you in the UK. You know, just in case the cook-off's a disaster. <laughs> oh, you just never know, do you? Hey, always better being safe than sorry. Well, that's what my grandpa used to say. Oh, grandpa. Bless his little cotton socks. Oh, that Mrs. Joutquick is a right character, that one. She keeps us all on our toes, gives us all a hard time, hey? Right, guys, let's check in. Let's see where you are now. Are you okay after that little glitch we had, Wesley? Are you managing to pick up where you left off? Yes, I am managing, yes. I'm just slicing the bread now. The eggs are boiling. I'm melting some butter in a pan to saute the mushrooms. So okay, it's going. okay, sounding good, sounding good. Do you think you'll be able to finish in the allotted time? I think I should. I should. Oh, your pot's boiling over there. Cooking over there. <laughs> just that. I, I see the pressure building here, guys. The pressure's building. Let's cross over to Chef Grant and let's see what's happening on his side of the kitchen. Chef Grant, how are things going over here? Good. Just a little bit of a delay, so we're just trying to get back to where we were. Do you think you'll be able to finish in the allotted time? Yeah, I should be able to. Hopefully. If I don't make trouble with Wesley, then uh, I should be able to. Oh, what happened to that confidence we saw just a few minutes ago? Is that dwindling a little bit now that we had that glitch? No, not really. Okay, okay. Interesting, guys. Can't wait to see how this is going to end up and if they manage to finish in time. I don't know why. This bread looks really interesting, actually. I have never personally tasted or seen this bread. But it really does look delicious, guys. Are you remembering to sanitize? Yes, I did sanitize my hands before. Wesley's hiding it from me. Do not forget to sanitize. Right. Would you like me to bring you some sanitizer there, Chef Grant? Yes, please. Let's spray away from the food. Okay. We have to take precautions during lockdown, guys. Remember, keep your hands clean and sanitized at all times. Do not touch your face and wear your masks when leaving the house. This is not just a cooking show. We're an educational show too. <laughs> where, where exactly are you at now, Chef Wesley? Um, and, and is everything still going according to your original plan or have you changed what, you, what you're going to be making? No, everything's still going according to my original plan. I'm just sauteing the mushrooms in here. I'm going to add some spices and some herbs as well. And my eggs are cooking over again. Sounds good. I see you putting the, the wooden spoon over the top of the pot there. Could you tell me a bit about why you're doing that? Uh, the wooden spoon actually prevents the foam from frothing over the lip of the pot for some reason. So I it helps to prevent the pot from boiling over? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Another interesting tip from our Chef Wesley there. Let's have another look here. Chef Grant, is everything still as you had thought it would be earlier or have you changed your mind about what you're going to be making? Indeed it is. Sorry, trying to concentrate you. Oh, he's chasing me away. <laughs> okay, well, you may want to chase me away, but I have more questions. Go for it. Great. I see you've got some bread in the tray over there. What is your plan with that bread? Yeah, I'm going to toast that now. Sorry. So you're going to toast the bread? Yeah. Okay, and are you going to toast that in the oven? Yeah, boy. Okay. And after you've done that, I see you've got some, what looks like garlic here in this little blender. Yeah, going to make a salsa verde. Okay, and what exactly goes into a salsa verde? Salsa verde is lemon juice, olive oil, garlic, parsley, some nice herbs, seasoning, salt. Are you all taking note of that at home? It's a nice little salad dressing. A nice little salad dressing, he says. Sorry, Rez, I'm stealing some of your parsley. Go right? ahead, go ahead. Right, guys, we have nine minutes to go, so we have surpassed the halfway mark. Do you guys think you will get done in nine minutes, Chef Grant? Should be done. Gonna have to. Chef Wesley, do you think you'll be done in nine minutes? Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Oh, guys, I'm starting to feel the pressure building here, hey? They're starting to get a little bit flustered. 
This is going to be quite interesting. I, guys, I don't know if you noticed, if you look over there in the corner, there is our crown. That will be given to the winner of tonight's starter course. Come over here for me quickly. Let, let's have a look at what Chef Grant is doing in the corner. I don't know if you want to zoom in there and have a look. Just making blitzing my salsa verde here. Guys, a little interesting thing I've just picked up that I think I need to ask these chefs about. I have noticed that both of our chefs have some sort of a glass or wine glass perched in the corner of their station. Chef Wesley, what are you planning on doing with your glass? Um, I'm going to actually use the, the shape of the glass to cut my bread into circles, just for aesthetic purposes. Okay, so well I hope that works with the, the size of the bread and the size of the glass that you have. I, I hope, hope that so works too. for your sake. I hope so too. Chef Grant, what are you planning on doing with your glass in the corner there? Um, I'm actually not too sure just yet. I just grabbed it. Not maybe too I can, sure maybe just I can yet. shape my, uh, my bread, make it look a bit more presentable. Oh, interesting. So you both seem to be having very similar ideas here. <laughs> this could end up very interestingly. Very interestingly. Chef Grant, I see you've just added some cream to your pan. Yeah, there. just to give it so it's not so dry. Give okay, it a bit of so just to moisten it a little bit. Put a little bit, bit of creaminess to it. Okay, okay. And now, it is time for cheese. I know what I would do with those glasses, guys. I have a nice bottle of wine chilling in the fridge, so um, I think that's what I'd be using those glasses for, especially that bigger one. Burning my hands. Did your bicarb do the trick, Chef Wesley? Well, I didn't add bicarb. Oh, he didn't <laughs> add bicarb. He was just sharing the tip. Overpromise and underdeliver, eh? Oh, I'm starting to hear a bit of banter going on here in the kitchen, guys. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> slow and steady. Oh, so is. Slow and steady, except, guys, you only have about seven minutes left. That's so I don't fine. know if slow and steady is going to win this race. We'll have to wait and see. Seven minutes left. Holy shit. I have just checked the timer so that we can be exact. We have nine and a half minutes left. Yeah. My apologies, due to the computer glitch, I got a little bit confused there. We have six minutes left. Ooh. No pressure, guys, no pressure. Just keep doing what you're doing. Well, that's quite interesting, Chef Wesley. I see you have your boiled eggs in the blender and you've just added some cream to it. What is your thought there? Um, I'm making a sort of creamy egg sort of puree or pate, if you will, that will be sort of um, like an addition to the open sandwich with the mushrooms. So I'm hoping it works. It's the first time I'm doing anything like this. So. Okay, and how are your nerves? My nerves are shot. Shot? Shot. <laughs> so you might need a shot of my wine after this. Uh, definitely. <laughs> Five minutes to go, guys. Five minutes to go. Oh, Don't forget, guys, when their cooking time is up, we will be bringing in our guest judge who will be doing the taste testing for us this evening. Yes. Chef Wesley, what is your plan with this cheese you have here? Um, I need to melt it over the mushrooms, so that's still another step that I need to do. So hopefully it works out. Let's have a look and see what Chef Grant has cutting over here. Oh, I'm seeing some mushrooms going into flour. That can only mean one thing, one of my favorite things. Those must be crumbed mushrooms you're busy with over there, Chef Grant. That's true. Oh, that sounds delicious. Back to you, Chef Wesley. Um, it's going. Donna! Donna, how's that starter looking? You know, it's like getting blood from a stone some days. 
Before I know it, I'll have withered away. Oh, what time is it? I tell you what, according to my clock, they've only got another few minutes. I must admit, it smells good, but don't tell them that. You imagine, two chefs ego in one house. No, thank you. Oh, my goodness, could you imagine? Oh, I better get me indigestion tablets. <laughs> oh, poor Mrs. Dowd Cook, struggling with her indigestion there already. Just the thought of the food. Perhaps uh, we need to give her a low cholesterol version, guys. Guys, I'm, I'm feeling the, the, the tension building here and I'm, I'm feeling the pace quicken. You guys have about four minutes left now. Four minutes. Do we still think we're going to finish in time, Chef Wesley? It's cutting it fine, but I'm getting there. Getting there, getting there. Okay, I see you managed to get your bread cut into the shape you were wanting with that glass. Yes, it worked. Oh, and we're even pulling out a piping bag now. Ooh. This is just a Feeling a bit nervous over the there, Chef Grant. Ah, uh, Ted. Oh, he's getting nervous, guys. Do you think you'll be able to finish in time, Chef Grant? Indeed. Remember, guys, any element of your dish that is not finished or cooked, should I say, by the time the timer is up, cannot go on your plates. All right. Okay, okay. Oh, guys, the smell in this kitchen. Oh, I'm getting really hungry. I might need some indigestion tablets by the time I'm done eating all of this. Not bad, Jason. <laughs> Two minutes to go, guys. Two minutes. All right. Guys, remember, when our one-minute countdown starts, you have to start plating. You have one minute to plate, or complete your plating, once our one-minute countdown starts. Right. Cool. I'm, I'm having a close inspection to see if I can see any shaking hands here. So it's Ooh, impressive. 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 Sportsmanship is uh, hanging in there too. You guys are still getting along quite well, I'm surprised. One minute to go, guys. Finish your plating, please. You have one minute to finish your plating. Once your one minute is up, you have to stop and step away from your plate, guys. Chef Wesley already has something on the plate here. Chef Grant. Getting there, getting there. Oh, now I'm seeing the shaking hands. The shaking hands are coming up now. Chef Wesley moving along nicely. Chef Grant also moving along nicely. Both dishes looking really delicious. Very interesting to see sort of similar ideas, but with the little twists of their own. Oh, my stomach's rumbling. <laughs> So just a little recap on the five ingredients our chefs had to cook with. A tub of fresh cream, a punnet of bashed mushrooms, six fresh eggs, and a loaf of German Landbrot. And your time is up, guys. Time's up. Oh, okay. Time is up. You guys can clean down your counters and bring your plates forward for me, please. Do not forget to sanitize. Both dishes looking quite interesting over here. Quite interesting. I hope our judge is ready for her taste testing. I will come and collect her in a moment. Take a closer look at what these guys have done. Over here we have Chef Grant. Over here we have Chef Wesley. 
in a moment we'll be mixing these two dishes up before our blind taste test. Also guys, just to give you a little breakdown of how it's going to work, when I go and fetch our guest judge in a moment, she will come in, she will be blindfolded. Our two chefs will have two scores out of five. The first will be the blind taste test, when I will help our judge to taste each dish. The second will be presentation, where our guest judge will ha be, uh, have her blindfold taken off and then she will give a score out of five on how the dishes looked on the presentation. And then we will tally up the scores and announce who will be crowned the king of the starter. Are you guys ready? We're ready. Yep. Oh, I'm ready. Right, I'm going to step off and go and fetch our guest judge. But while I do that, if I could ask if each of you could please cut off a bite of your dishes. All right. There we go, guys. Right, guys, here I am with our guest judge for this evening, the young Amelia Evans, my daughter. Now, as some of you may know, the trickiest taste buds to please are those of a child. So this is going to be even harder for one of these guys to win. So Amelia, if you could just let me guide you to the counter, turn a little bit to face the front. Okay, are the two of you ready? Uh, yes. Yeah, we are. Okay, wonderful. Have you managed to get a little bit of everything on the fork? I have, yes. I think this is where it gets a bit tricky for me, trying to guide it all into her mouth. Amelia, are you ready for your taste test? Yes. Sorry? Yes. Oh, she's ready. You're going to have to open really wide. <laughs> that is dish A. The suspense is killing me. Oh, Wesley says the suspense is killing him. We'll give her a moment to finish chewing that. Amelia, what are your thoughts on dish A? Dish A had a lot of flavor and was really, really tasty. I liked all the elements. Oh, she liked all the elements. Was there anything you didn't like on dish A? No, not really. Oh, we're off to a good start. Are you ready to taste dish B? I guess so. Okay. We'll just give her a moment there. Just give me a nod when you're ready to speak. Amelia, what are your thoughts on dish B? It was nice. It didn't have as much flavor as dish A. Um, and I couldn't really taste all the elements like I could with the first one. Oh, wow. We have a professional little judge here, guys. Seriously. So, Amelia, for dish A, what would you score it out of five? Um, for dish A, I'll give it a solid six. Out of five? Oh, sorry. Uh, a four out of five. Definitely no school happening during lockdown there, guys. <laughs> and for dish B, what would you give dish B out of five? Uh, a three and a half. Three and a half out of five. Interesting. Bearing in mind, guys, dish A, dish B. I hope you remember whose was whose. I know we do. Right, Amelia, our next step is going to be me removing your blindfold that is tied on way too tight. <laughs> I'm just going to try and pull this off. There we go. Rather let her do it herself, right? Now, Amelia, if you'd like to have a look at the dishes, this is dish A and this is dish B. What would you give dish A for presentation? A four out of five for dish A. And what would you give dish B for presentation? Right, guys, I'm going to take a second to just tally up these scores quickly so we can see who is going to be crowned the king of the starter. Amelia, if you could go over and fetch our crown for us so long, please. Right, guys, it was very close, very, very close, but it seems dish A is the winner, and that would be Chef Grant. 
Congratulations, <laughs> Chef Grant. <laughs> Amelia, would you like to crown our winner for this evening? So, Chef Grant has proven his practical skills have come in handy. He has been no. crowned the king of the starters. We hope uh, you guys will be tuning in again next week, Tuesday, for the second installment of our cook-off challenge. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't that bad. That's all, folks. Donna, where's me mains?